So today is a super good training day. One, because the weather is absolutely gorgeous. It's really cool outside, but the sun is shining and there's no wind, thank goodness, because this valley that I live in gets a really bad windstorm sometimes. But anyway, so I thought I'd kind of like make a quick video. I was setting my dogs up behind me um, for today's training day. And uh, <clears throat> I was kind of setting them up and I was thinking, man, you know, like I wonder if anybody would be interested in like just this little tidbit of like what I do in a training day or how I get set up, how I get started. Um, it's really not something you have to do. It's just like something that helps me kind of keep track, um, kind of make it a little less stressful because I have a lot of dogs. I mean, it's true. Um, I joke around and I tell people I have 46 dogs. I don't have 46 dogs, trust me. But, um, you know, I, I, I do have a lot. <clears throat> I do have a lot that I'm training, starting. I've got a couple of finished dogs. Um, well, what I would consider finished anyway. But <clears throat> anyway, so I thought I'd just kind of get going here. Um, let me switch this around. And so this is today's lineup. Um, I know you guys hear me talk about the cow dog crew or today's lineup. And um, the cow dog crew are the dogs that get to go to work for the day. Um, my husband's a cowboy on Enzyme Ranches. And um, sometimes I get to work in the summer and spring and fall too. But um, so the dogs that he takes, I like to call them the cow dog crew because we take between two and three. Very rarely do we take four dogs. Um, but anyway, so that that's what I consider the cow dog crew. It's supposed to mimic like a cowboy crew. I just thought it was really cute, so <laughs> that's what I call them. But um, the training lineup is what you see here. Um, a lot of people have lineups, and it's uh, it's really fun. So anyway, so today I have all adult dogs. Um, sometimes I mix in a couple of puppies. Sometimes I have just like strictly obedience dogs, like my pet dogs that uh, I find families for. Um, those are what I call my obedience dogs. So today is going to be a crazy full day full of dog training. Um, what I do to kind of help me uh, set myself up for success, I think it's very important. I mean, we all talk about like, let's set our dogs up for success and we'll set our horses up for success. Well, we need to set ourselves up too. Um, and so what I like to do is I'll set these guys up in kind of pairs. So like these two dogs, um, Sage the black one, I just sold her to a good friend of mine. I'm continuing her training um, and she's working on inside flanks. And then this dog Grit, I'm gonna do another little video on him. I just got him a couple weeks ago back and uh, he's working on his <laughs> inside flanks. Um, and then after I got a couple of like a little bit of intense training dogs, I like to come to something more fun. So like Sue here on the right, she's, uh, she's got a couple of buttons, but she's not uh, fancy broke or anything. She's kind of just ranch broke, I suppose. Um, but I like to let her go in and, and move the, the yearlings that I have around. And um, so she's kind of a relaxing dog for me because I guess I just get to go in there and let her play. Um, ask her to do a couple things, but it's nothing serious. And then Toots, this red dog, hi. Um, she's kind of finished I guess like she has a lot of buttons all the bells and whistles um but she's she's still pretty young she's a year gosh no she's two years old now um she'll be three in October um and she yeah so she's really fun to work um just because like I really don't have to do training I just have to do cleaning on her like you know, making sure that she's square or that she's walking in straight. Like, I don't have to actually teach her something like those two over there. And then I come to these guys. These are Old Faithful. These two are a, a working pair, uh, Ace on the right and Scout on the left. Um, I'm tuning Ace up for my cousin. He's going to go to uh, Southern Nevada here in a couple weeks. So I'm just going to tune him up, make sure he's down and make sure he's biting clean and all that kind of stuff. And then Scout, he's an OG. Um, he's super broke, super finished. He's the best dog, uh, in the world, in my opinion. <laughs> Just kidding. But, um, I, I kind of like to let him move around some stuff like Toots does. Just keep him a little sharp. And then these two, um, that's Lexi on the right. She's, uh, learning her inside flanks too. And I am beaten, not literally. Well, I mean, if you see me train, maybe literally, but, uh, she's, um, I've got to get her pretty square because she just drops her shoulders in and just wants to be in real tight. Um, so I'm working on making her really square, really correct. And, uh, 
and doing our inside flanks. This is Ace. Uh, he's a friend's dog. These two are actually crossed together um, this past, you know, week. So uh, we'll, we'll expect another Toots full sibling cross out of these guys. But he, I'm going to um, work him some and get some videos and pictures of him. Um, but anyway, so that is the lineup for today. Now normally uh, I've got a couple of pups that are just stock test pups. Um, I'm going to be putting a down on them and a recall on them but normally you know I would have like two working dogs like an obedience dog, two working dogs, a stock test puppy you know just kind of break it up a little bit. Um, it helps me kind of calm down because you know training animals isn't that easy. Um, I mean, if it's easy for you, freaking wonderful. Uh, I love it, but uh, it can be really hard for me sometimes. So uh, that's kind of how I just set up my day. Um, I set myself up for success. If I get to where I'm getting really hot, um, you know, like a little uptight, a little upset, I'll just take one of those dogs on a walk around the property um, and kind of just like cool off, like get my thoughts back together um, and that kind of thing. So I... Let me know what you guys do. If you guys do it this, um, you know, scheduled this orderly, or if you just like to grab dogs from your kennels. And then another thing, like when I get done with the dogs, um, I'll go through the whole line once. When I come back for the second time, when the first dog's done, I'll put it away. Second dog, done, second dog is done, I'll put him away. Um, and it's kind of fun to see that line diminish. You know, I feel really accomplished when I start getting to put the dogs away. Cause I mean, that's how I feel like, uh, you know, I've done a good job. So anyway, yeah, let me know what you think. Um, let me know what you guys do. I would like to know uh, how you guys are set up. And anyway, um, I'm going to get to training. So we'll see you guys later.